And welcome back to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenzel and Menti here. We are live and we are local and we are switching gears a little bit now and talking about energy efficient home improvement. And this is such an important issue, especially as winter uh, has the onset now. It's getting a little chillier. So we want to bring on Lucas Hamilton, who's the manager of building science application with certainty. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome, oh, Lucas. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I know that you're you're a dad. You're telling me about your 18-month-old twin sons. Yes. So uh, you're sleeping. You're getting some sleep. Uh, yes, I am. Finally. Fortunately, yeah. <laughs> maybe not <laughs> Can't your say wife. Can't so much my wife. But, yeah. <laughs> so tell me about, especially this time of year. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, the nights are getting chillier, and everybody's thinking about, you know what? Maybe I need to think about my my energy efficiency. Right. For sure. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things that we can do to our own homes um, to make them a lot more efficient and to decrease not only our impact on the environment, but the impact the weather has on our income. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if we look at quick fixes, mm -hmm. in other words, something that you can do is, it's, it, I think uh, tonight it's gonna get down in the in the 38 degree range or whatever. Yeah. So if people are looking at some quick fixes, what can they do when they're thinking about their windows, their insulation, that sort of thing? Well, you know, with things like windows and, and the, the exterior of your building, you should definitely be looking at making it more tight in terms of getting rid of, of, of holes in it uh, to reduce air leakage and water infiltration and things like that. But um, adding insulation to the open areas of your home is such a quick payback uh, in terms of investment when you add a little more insulation to the places that are easy to get to, like your open attic or if you have an exposed basement ceiling or crawl space ceiling. These are very easy places to add insulation to, and you'll actually begin seeing the results in your very next utility bill. It's a very quick payback uh, for a very low-cost investment. And so all insulation is not created equal. So talk to me a little bit about, you know, it's certainty and you're, you're a scientist. I mean, what do you recommend for people? Well, you know, it's, it's in terms of saving weather, money in cold weather, it's a balance of being airtight and having the highest R value you can everywhere in your home. What's R value? Um, resist, expression of resistance to the heat flow. Uh, the higher the R value, the more insulating power it has. And uh, if your home is more than 20 years old, chances are it actually has half the recommended level of insulation that we would have for a new construction today. So um, it's, it's, you know, there's certain places in a home are very easy to insulate, such as again, the attic. Other places, not so much so, like the walls. There we use things like, when we're residing, we can choose insulated vinyl sidings and things like that to get some more insulation on the walls. But the whole idea is to add passive elements to our home that save energy immediately. And when we do so, if also we could choose ones that are made in a sustainable and environmentally friendly manner, uh, that's that's uh, even you know, that's a plus. And is that because not only do we want everything to be environmentally friendly, but also like my, my youngest, David, who's seven, he has allergies and he has asthma. So in other words, are <clears throat> some of these products better for if, if you have an asthmatic oh, in oh, your home? Oh, for sure, because we are, you know, the first thing we talked about was tightening up the home which saves you energy, but it decreases the amount of fresh air you would otherwise have naturally occurring. So now the, the off-gassing or the things that might come off the products in your home become much more important because now they're trapped within your home. So now, you know, with a tight home, you really want to choose materials like sustainable insulation that is very low emission and no off-gassing to make sure that you're not actually contributing to problems in a home while trying to solve others. Okay, and the insulation pictures that we just saw, mm. because I've heard about insulation where they kind of uh, spray it in there and it's loose? Yeah, you can Is buy it in a, a formed bat or blanket and you can also have it installed as a loose fill material. Uh, and very often the loose fill materials um, give you a better application because they completely fill the cavities, especially when you have irregular framing. Or if you're adding insulation to your attic, the loose fill is a very good way to actually cover up the wood that would be exposed otherwise because of the preformed materials. So putting a continuous blanket in there um, would have an even higher impact uh, than using uh, individual pieces. And what is Green Guard? What does that mean? Green um, well, Green Guard is actually a, a, a third party that measures the off gassing and emissions from the products that we buy. And it's an independent third party. You can go to their website and actually look at what's coming off the materials that you're building your home from or putting into your home to make sure that you're choosing the, the lowest emitting, safest materials for your family. So you can go to the Certainty website and look that up. Um, all, most of our materials are Green Guard certified, and you can link there through our website, or you can simply go right to greenguard.org. Uh, which will have most of the products that you buy listed there. 
Okay. What else do you have in, do you want to have in your home that you want to look at? We hear a lot about solar. Well, solar is great for making uh, energy, but there's also ways to save energy with your roofing. So we have photovoltaic roofing that can generate power, but we also have cool roofing today, uh, shingles that actually uh, look white to the sun, but are dark rich colors to your eyes. What this does is it allows you to have a much cooler attic temperature in the summer. So it decreases the heat in the upper layers of your home, decreasing your need for air conditioning. Uh, another way to save energy, it looks the same. Most of the energy efficiency things that we talk about on the surface are apparently the same, but behind the scenes they're doing all kinds of extra stuff that older materials didn't do to help you reduce energy consumption and again reduce your, your footprint on the earth. Okay, and so this is something that, in other words, when you, when you look at all the advertisements, you might not realize that something might look the same, but they're so different, and they make such a different difference in the health of your home and also the energy efficiency. Yeah, is that what they, you're saying? They, they really do, and again, they're, they're, they're intended to look the same because we've you know, arrived at a certain aesthetic appeal right. that we want to see continued. However, we can do things behind the scenes to make the products actually do more for you than just be a canvas to hang some aesthetic finish on. They can actually work for you, such as uh, drywall that cleans your air and things like that are available behind the scenes today. So when you're drywall looking at- Drywall that cleans the air, tell me about that. Well, um, a lot of the products we bring to our home today, they emit volatile organic compounds. These are gases that come off and then pollute our atmosphere. Our filtration systems on our furnaces don't capture gases, they capture particles, dirt, if you will. So to capture gases, we have to do things differently. And so now we have things like drywall that will actually scrub the air of things like formaldehyde to clean the home for you um, so that um, you, know, you have a healthier environment for your family again. But the great thing is, is it, it's passive. And you have to love the passive stuff because it never wears out. It works forever and it doesn't consume any more energy. Yeah, it's, so, it, it's something that I, I certainly am into with a, with a child with asthma. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's had that mm -hmm. experience where they wake up and your, your child can't breathe, mm -hmm. Scary. It, it's terrifying. Yeah and you're getting the nebulizer and all of that. But, you know, I just think not, not just the energy efficiency, Lucas, but also just the health of your family. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's no more important investment you're going to make. So it's worth looking a little bit deeper into those materials today because they're not the materials they were 20 years ago. The last time you may have made these decisions, these materials weren't available. So it's not like we need more homework, but we do have to look into each one of these things before we make a decision, and yeah. I think you'll learn a lot in the process. Yeah, absolutely. Lucas, we're going to be right back. Lucas with Certainty when we come right back. You are watching The Dawn Show. You know, Lucas Hamilton of Certainty, I think uh, the bottom line here? Um, a lot of projects you could do yourself, but check into a qualified contractor and get a price. You might be surprised at how, how affordable it can be to have a professional install these same materials for you. And we have the Certainty website here if people want to have some questions about energy efficiency. Luke, Lucas, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Make it a great one. See you tomorrow.